You know, sometimes when you're out rail fanning, you hit the jackpot. And sometimes you don't, but we're not talking about gambling in today's video, but we are looking at slot machines, just not the ones you'd find in a casino. Like its Las Vegas counterpart, this odd-looking machine has a lot of lights and makes a lot of noise. It's called a self-powered slot machine, or SPS, which seems like a fitting name. G-R-E-X on the front and sides stands for Georgetown Rail Equipment Company. It's now a part of Loram. Right now, the machine has a pretty straightforward job. Unload cross ties along Norfolk Southern's main line in Metro Atlanta. Now keep in mind, this is a busy part of the Norfolk Southern system, and they often have a limited amount of track time to get work like this done. They had already set out quite a few ties before they had to pause and let this train pass by. There's no doubt, railroads haul a lot of interesting and unusual cargo. The containers in the front of this train are carrying trash. There are also a lot of interesting and specialized businesses out there. Companies like Loram certainly qualify. They provide railroad maintenance of way services and equipment. Of course, there are also plenty of businesses along the tracks that serve very specific customers. See that parking lot near the rails here in Norcross, Georgia? Well, that business is called Cinema Vehicles, and as you might have guessed, they provide all kinds of cars, trucks, and buses to Georgia's booming film and television industry. Anyway, let's get back on track. We're now set up in downtown Norcross, and one more train needs to pass before we can get another look at the self-powered slot machine. Now the slot machine was not moving all that fast today and it was pretty easy to chase. Our route passed the 617. There was also a high rail leading the way, calling out mileposts and other information. One to one at CP Norcross. <laughs> Next up, the main event. And they were making a whole lot of noise for these crossings in downtown Norcross. So what exactly do they use this train for? Well, according to Loram marketing materials, it can take on jobs involving heavy ditching, concrete or timber tie pickup, scrap rail pickup, ballast and sub-ballast stockpiling, tie distribution, and more. Oh, and what's the story behind this odd-looking locomotive? Well, according to those Loram marketing materials, it can travel up to 55 miles per hour and can be wirelessly controlled so a single operator can run it. But today, there was someone in the cab and in the excavator. Now, I'm not 100% sure what the heritage of this locomotive is, but it looks like it was made from an old electromotive Jeep. Unfortunately, we didn't really get the full slot machine experience today. The train we just watched was using old gondolas that have been relegated to maintenance of way service. These things are classics with reporting marks from old railroads like Penn Central and Conrail. But the real selling point of the full slot machine is its specialized cars. They're basically articulated gondolas that don't have end bulkheads. This allows the excavator to travel the full length of the train on the floor of the cars. Now, the excavator we saw on the train today moves on top of the cross ties that are loaded inside these old gondolas. And when those are empty, it can dismount and park on this car at the rear. Now, if you thought that train was unusual, check out this yellow beast. It's called a multi-purpose machine, or MPM, and is operated by transportation infrastructure contractor Herzog. The slot machine and MPM can be used for the same tasks, but the design on the Herzog train is a little bit more unique in my opinion. The excavator here rides on rails built onto customized well cars. 
This thing also has cabs on both ends of the train. Anyway, back to the self-powered slot machine. They really put it to work during the first half of July 2022. It unloaded ties all over Metro Atlanta on Norfolk Southern's line that goes to Greenville, South Carolina. Eventually, a gang like this one will move in and start installing them. Now, you may be wondering why they call it a slot machine. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a great answer for you. The only clue I found was on an old Georgetown Railroad webpage. It said there were slots in the floor of the cars to give the excavator tracks more traction. But despite its funny name, ultimately the slot machine is just another example of how the folks who work on the railroad get the job done. You may recognize the company LaRam that I mentioned in this video. It's well known for its rail grinding trains. I actually saw one of those recently, so you can expect a full video about that coming really soon. But for now, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.